Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and I'm here to talk about the definition of linear functions and relations. Now let's talk about the linear relations first, because linear relations, and the emphasis is on the word relations, deals with ordered pairs. And what happens in linear relations is that you have a series of ordered pairs that might result, that will result in a line that's being drawn. So the idea here is if you have a lot of ordered pairs along a pattern, it would be a linear relation if you can draw a line, kind of rough sketch there, through there. So it's an ordered pairs, a linear relation is an ordered pair that will give you a line as a result. That would be kind of a really, literally a perfect uh, lineup. Now, how this differs from a linear function goes back to the definition of what a function is and how a relation is related to it. Now, in order for a linear rela relation to become a linear function, there has to be one x that matches with one y. And what that actually means here is that no two ordered pairs can share the same x-coordinate. So a linear relation can qualify to be a linear function if all the ordered pairs have different x-coordinates and that no two pairs have the same x. And so you can definitely, so a linear relation would be a bunch of ordered pairs and the linear function would be the line itself. And oftentimes linear function is denoted by f of x and can be thought of as f of x is equal to mx plus b. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the definition of linear functions and relations.